Hello, my friend. Um, I wanted to share a story that something that uh, recently happened, and um, it's something a skill that I learned over the years, um, and but I didn't apply it uh, recent. Um, so I think this is a good way for me to um, review it and um, for you guys to learn something from it as well. That's why I'm making this video. Um, so there was something that happened to me if somebody did something um, that was just not okay um, and it had an effect on, on my life um, and it triggered a traumatic response from the past um, so uh, you know I realized that I became unconscious and I had a couple days where I didn't uh, sleep enough um, and well enough which obviously is uh, number one when it comes to mental health, um, sleep hygiene. You want to get your seven, eight hours of sleep. This is essential. Uh, so that didn't contribute to stay um, conscious to process the emotions or the situation effectively. Um, I realized that um, my reaction to my partner, um, who I you know mentioned the story to, or what happened, uh, she's a fixer, and you know one thing that I absolutely adore her for. Uh, she is always, you know, helps people and fixes certain aspects. Um, and um, the thing is, we are both fixers. And in this situation, I didn't need something to be fixed. I realized that uh, when I shared it with her, it's like, and she said, "Well, you have to do this and this and this." Uh, my guard went up, and um, obviously, it was my inner child. And I was like, you know, I could hear the inner talk. I was like, well. I know how to fix this, you know, I'm a coach, I do this for a living, and um, in reality, I, I felt I felt judged, uh, number one, uh, which is another aspect in when we realize that we, we feel judged by somebody else, we are never judged by that person. Uh, what in reality happens is we are judging ourselves. So even if somebody else would judge you for something which my girlfriend didn't do in, in this situation um, let's say she would be judgmental if somebody expresses judgmental um, you know verbalizes judgment um, that doesn't mean that you have to touch attach to their judgment if we are sitting within ourselves and we have an, uh, we are confident within ourselves then we can just let that pass through us um, because in reality, we are the only person that can judge ourselves. So that's number one. In this situation, um, like I said, I was not that conscious as, as usual. And I felt judged and um, it was hard for me to process this quickly. Um, but these situations happen. You know, life happens and we are not always like centered where we can just let those negative aspects, even if they're intense, pass through us. Um, how do you shift and get back to the now to be then effective in your life? Um, so number one is awareness. You have to acknowledge it's like, okay, this is a response, trauma response, or, you know, it's my inner child responding, reacting to a situation. That's number one. Number two, uh, what's the emotion? Um, you have to acknowledge, oh, I'm angry, or I feel treated unfairly, or this is not right, um, and it makes me sad, or whatever the emotion is, you have to acknowledge, or you have to name to label the emotion. Um, and then the next, the third step is, how do I feel the emotion? Why do I feel the emotion? If am I angry? Do I feel in the stomach, in the chest, or, you know, am I tense? Um, and when we do that and we focus on the emotion, what happens? The emotion goes down. So instead of focusing on what happened, which will continue our thoughts, will fuel those emotions, and our amygdala will get more and more charged, we focus now on labeling the emotion, awareness, okay, I feel angry, uh, I feel sad, I feel whatever the emotion is, and then where do I feel that how do I experience that emotion in my body so then you know we would go slowly back down um, now if it's something traumatic or um, you want to learn how to process um, the overall situation so in this case 
um, what I did wrong for myself, I was diminishing actually um, the right away the impact it had. I didn't label that as like, oh, that's not a big deal. I have been through uh, way worse situations in my life and, and you know, I came out on the other side. Um, but what I did, I judged myself instead of saying, okay, this sucks. This is not okay. Um, you know, this is wrong behavior from that person. Uh, this is not fair. Um, we have to do that first. If we just suppress the emotion, then we will create this big ball and eventually the emotion will come up. So sometimes we have to, for me, it's like I had to go back, okay, how do I talk to my best friend? How do I talk, would I talk to my girlfriend in a situation like this? Would I be like, oh, it's not a big deal, you know, you have been through worse? No, I would say, you know what, this is not right. This sucks. I'm sorry you had to go through this. Oh, you have to go through this. And, um, you know, just validating the emotion. And um, this is something that, you know, I communicate to my girlfriend. She's like me. We want to fix it right away. But sometimes as a partner, we just have to sit there and say, you know what? I feel your pain. I feel this is not fair. And we just have to sit and just acknowledge our partner's emotions and the same day the same thing happens with ourselves so if we don't have a partner that we can share something you know terrible with or you know very intense with then uh, we have to learn to communicate to ourselves that way i'm not talking about like self-loathing i'm talking about like genuine uh, acknowledgement yeah? we have to go through that through that um, process to be able then to reframe it and then go to go in a different direction so this means that once I get there I labeled the emotion I said and I went through the let's say grief it's like this was not okay this sucks then I could say go to the next one as like okay what can I learn from this and this is when you go through traumatic events in your life there's always one thing that is has to happen for you to move on so you have to find the purpose or the reason why this happened. And instead of saying, I don't know why this happened to me, you have to shift it. You can shift it to um, this happened for me. This is the reason for me. And no matter how traumatic something is, and you know, sometimes there are awful things happen to people, but if you wanna move past that uh, trauma, you have to, uh, find the reasoning why it happened for you. What can? What did you learn from this awful situation? What did you? What? How? How did you grow? How did you become a better person through this process? No matter how terrible the situation was, you know. And then you can find maybe a purpose. You're helping other people through the same situation, or um, you know you learn to self-reflect deeper and become a better person in general. Um, so when you find this, the, the reasoning for, and, and you go from happening to me to happening for me, then um, everything will shift. I hope you like this and uh, give me a thumbs up and I'll share more, share more aspects like these with you guys. Thank you.